Hello peoples, T Embers here. I'm doing a video response for Faith Chick 777. She is hosting a spool challenge. And this is my entry to the two spool challenge. And my theme colors are red, white, and black. And I'm got a short and fat spool and a tall and skinny spool because it's cool. So, I'll start with a tall spool. <laughs> okay. There's an over overview. We'll start at the top. Um these two flowers are die cut using Union Square the collections paper. I like this. This is a glitter polka dot print thing with the uh, pearl beads for the setters. And I bought these at the local craft store. These are adorable, I couldn't help it. I love these ones. They're soft and velvety like. Anyway, they're cute. And I used a paper doily and folded it like a Japanese fan. And in between, in a weave in these flowers, I have a I don't know what you call it, but I have it right here. It's a Christmas decoration twig thingy bundle, whatever it is, from a holiday um, inspirations. But anyway, yeah, it was cool. So on down to the lace here. I have this one here. It's absolutely gorgeous. It looks like if you tea dyed it, it would be huh? There. It would be absolutely gorgeous vintage lace. It's beautiful. So I have underneath that. There's some scalloped, if I can stay on camera here, some scalloped lace. I like this stuff because you can always dangle some beads on the ends and stuff. The other two, this one is a shimmery, sheer type of ribbon stuff with hooks on both sides of them. I like that because you can always like, well, hang beads on it. And this one is like a net, it's weird, it's like a net print and it looked cool. I don't know what I'm going to use it for. I'm going to use it for something. No, it's pretty. And what the lace is on is a femme fatale I think that's my uh, recollections too but what I did with this is I laced it top to bottom like a corset with a ribbon on the bottom and since I love clocks too there is one clock on the inside of this if you turn this, oops, it's not on camera. If you turn this, you can see the face on the inside. And yeah, I'll take this off so you can see it better. I used a paper tube for this. So there it is. It's a pretty big face, I know. And if you notice, 
is backwards. I cut it backwards. See, there's a 12, there's a 1, there's a 2 and a 3. <laughs> it's funny. I decided I like it anyway. I'm going to use it. I use it, obviously. I set the clock at 11.59, the wishing hour, because I'm weird like that. <laughs> I like it. So, there's that scroll. Another quick overlay. Oh, the next spool now. I have a clock face on here too. I love steampunk things too. So I put spinners on this one. I like that. And these flowers, they're just, uh, what do you call them? You just uh, cut circles out of ribbon and take a lighter to the edge of it. And that makes it a cool, funky, curled effect to it. I like those. Those are cool. More doily lace fans. Yes, I bought these. These are adorable. I couldn't help it. I love these. And on the side, too, I bought these black flowers, too. They're cute. I love them. I'm definitely going to have to practice making more tiny flowers like these. And, uh, well, since I used corset lacing in the other project, or the other spool, I decided to do that with this one too as a ribbon lace braid thing that I used on the back of it with uh, this rhinestone curly Q stuff going on here. I like it. And the lace on the bottom, you see, is I have it layered on top of each other in a poofy manner. Kind of like a ballroom gown or something. So I'll give you a close up on the laces. These are, this one's a really soft one. This one underneath here is hearts. I love, I love these scalloped laces. You always dangle beans at the, on the bottom of them. And underneath that one, this one is really soft. Take the light away from it a little bit. There, that's better. Now you can see them. This one is really soft and stretchy like. I love this one. So what this is, this also doubles, this spool doubles as a cup. Let me take the top off. I got some scrap in here, some ribbon I cut, and uh, other pieces that I was going to use for the flowers. Just some scrap pieces I'll use for another project and whatever. So, there you go. Oh, before I forget, see on the edge of this, what I thought was cool to do is, since this cup looks like the perfect shape of a paint can, I thought it would be cool to kind of smear some black paint on the edge here like a used paint can. I don't know. That's, I think that's kind of a cool effect. So, 
I hope I was thorough in my explanations, this being my first challenge video. So, if any of you judges or just watchers have any questions, you can message me and I will try to answer. <sighs> so, there's my two spools. Mm. I have to fix this one now, taking it apart and all that. Ah. Yeah, not gonna happen with the camera in my way. So, anyway, that's my spool challenge, I guess. Well, thank you for watching, and I will see you all later. Thank, thank you, Faith Chick Seven Seven Seven. Bye now.